Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for coming um, and having a look at this video. So um, I know we're nearly halfway through January already, aren't we? So, um, but I wanted to just do a video. I did one last year on um, 2022. And so I thought I'd just um, do a little video with some messages from them about uh, what we can expect in 2023. Okay. Um, oh, I should say Happy New Year to everybody, although as I said, it's a little bit late now, isn't it? Um, but anyway, so um, they began by just saying um, it's, it's less about this sort of concept of the new year that we have and more um, about that we have a kind of collective programming around this, this construct of a new year. Okay, so uh, that and that in itself has kind of created a significant moment when we um, kind of consciously do go through a period of review. Um, sometimes it can be a very nostalgic time, but also of planning and looking ahead. Um, so they said that's okay. That's okay. I mean, ideally, we, we want to be living in the present moment, but they understand that that is something that, as they said, we have we have kind of consciously created as a collective. So they said, that being said, they're going to describe some of the energies that will, will be in play for the year ahead. And um, the other caveat that they gave is that, of course, these are collective energies. So what we choose to do in response to those um, is up to us as an individual, of course, isn't it? Right, so they said um, it's a year of forward movement. So it's a year of potentials. So the energies of the last few years are still playing out, okay? So they mentioned um, kind of two sides to that. So on the one side, um, a, great, a greater awareness of where there has been uh, and is control, um, manipulation, how power is used. Um, but also this, in response to that, there has been a lot of disillusionment, um, a lot of confusion and, and a fair amount of insecurity. Okay, so they said that's all still playing out. Um, but this year there is much greater clarity to the point where there's potential and definitely energetic opportunities um, to begin the dismantling process. Okay, so uh, um, they, as they said last year, and I think um, in the video for 2022, they did make us aware that these energies will be playing out well into 2024 and beyond. But we're talking about um, financial systems, governance, business, industries, particularly energy, health, food production, travel, um, and kind of really reviewing, getting clarity around um, what we want from those um, sectors, if you like, of our society, what we need and what we align with and what we don't. Now, the extent and speed at which those things are um, dismantled depends on the strength of, of the collective will, okay? So it's not a, a matter of will it happen, it's a matter of how quickly it happens. So at the same time as there is this clarity coming in, there is some confusion about what to replace those structures with, okay? So we're not quite there yet, they said, in terms of clarity around what we do want, but we are going to experience a great amount of clarity around what we definitely don't want, okay? So the process is underway, they said. <laughs> so... Energetically, by the end of the year and into sort of 24, 25, the creative energies will be gaining momentum, okay? So we will start to be thinking about, okay, well, we definitely don't want that. What do we want then? Yeah? So it is actually very positive. So, um, and at this point, they gave me um, an image, well, a couple of images, actually, but they're both set the same in terms of interpretation. Um, one was of um, 
a person running, you know, it's kind of like an action film image, really, of a person running and literally the ground giving way behind them. Yeah. Um, and they're running towards safety. And the other um, image was very similar. It was somebody on a bridge. You know, when you see somebody running across a bridge and the bridge is giving way behind them and they're running to get to the other side to that safety. Okay. So that's kind of the feeling, you know, of, of not looking back because that's going, but starting to look forward. Okay. So expect um, control to be tightening, okay, um, where institutions, organisations, um, those in power um, feel threatened, they will tighten their control, particularly around um, national identities, um, particularly around how privacy um, plays out within society, you know, who has control of our identity, our information um, and all of that, particularly around media and tech as well um, in relation to that and the legal systems and financial systems, so how we um, manage our money. Okay, so I'm just going to close the window actually because the um, the sun's going down and the birds are really loud. <laughs> So, right, where were we? Um, yeah, so they said, you know, that, that tightening of control will ultimately have the opposite long-term effect because it will simply show us, again, in, with greater clarity, what we don't want. Um, but again, the speed of, of the res our response to that depends on the collective um, will. So... At the same time as some control, some some new things that are brought in um, are around maintaining control. Okay, so, so new um, laws, new financial systems, new tech will be around trying to tighten control and um, maintain power. Some new things that come forward will be very good, particularly in terms of technology. Okay, so we need to use our discernment about what aligns with the ideals we want to live um, by going forward and and what doesn't. <laughs> okay, so on that note, on a personal basis, um, we will be asking um, or seeking rather greater clarity on what is it we do want. So there is a lot of creative potential to create what we want. We don't want to waste this, this time. So we're talking about our relationships, our homes, our, the use of our time, um, how we travel, how we manage our resources. They're, they're all coming up for review and they have been for some time. Um, but we now get the chance to really get clear and get creative about what we do want. So the question is always, is it in alignment with what is in our hearts? Okay, so we have an opportunity this year to really open our hearts and create from that place. Okay, so which is actually stepping into our personal power. So more than anything else, is it in, in alignment with what is in our hearts? Is it in alignment with the principles of love? Okay. And the planet is helping here. So they did want to talk about what is happening with the planet. They said they know that a lot of us do um, have concerns around that. So they said, yeah, you know, the planet is, is, is actually helping because she, what she's doing is forcing us to face the state of our relationship with her. Okay. So, um, and, sh and she will continue to do so. So our response to, to that is up to us, um, both as a collective and individually. The quicker we respond positively to what she's trying to tell us, the better it is, of course, and the less drawn out. And they said the less det detrimental that process will be 
um, and, and the process of restoring that relationship, healing that relationship we have with her will be less traumatic. <laughs> um, but that's our choice. All right. And she'll just keep beating that drum, <laughs> trying to get us to listen. But they said the worst thing we could do is give in to fear around that. Okay. So again, it's about opening up our hearts, taking a long term positive view. Okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, they said eventually, of course, we will have to. <laughs> um, but we do have the opportunity to begin making great strides. In, in healing our relationship with her this year, if we wish. All right. So it's a year, just to sum up really, it's a year of, um, actually a lot of the review has already taken place, but kind of getting clarity as a result of, uh, of reviewing um, where we're at, all right? And then opening up to the creative possibilities because they said the potential to create this year really starts to take off. Those energies are available to us. We just have to make the, the choices that are in alignment with the, with the greater good for ourselves. Okay, so the light language um, this time is going to be, this is quite interesting actually, um, around increasing the flow of feminine and masculine energies um, in balance. So they mentioned, you know, the feminine energies of, ha of creativity and ideas, but also the masculine energy of putting things into practice and um, putting action behind that, if you like. So, OK, they're just saying to me it's particularly the um, feminine energies that will be playing out this year. OK, all right. Good. Right, so I will begin channeling. If you haven't um, heard uh, or watched any of these videos before, I channel um, light language from galactic beings and um, terrestrial beings such as Lemurians, uh, dragon energy, angelic energy, so all, all sorts. So we'll see. We'll see what comes soon. All right. Este es cuando nada más le sé que te, él es el que ya te haré a maya, él es el que haré a jaya nada más, él es el que te hará ya nada más. En Buria se ha te que ya la, en Dios su que te ha ni te haré a ja, en Peajo y a Giane a se ya se, ese aquí a tu hija en la ja, este es tu y en ella que te han arreaste ya te ha. It is a very positive time. And much like the image that we brought through, um, it may not always feel that way. But there is much forward movement available to you this year. So we want to encourage you. comes along the next video will be around timelines um, which they have relayed those messages to me in fact they did that before Christmas um, so but I knew that they were going to be doing a 2023 um, message for you all so we've done that first <laughs> okay um, so uh, do 
subscribe to the channel and you can hit the notifications bell. Um, I know somebody commented on the last video that um, they weren't getting updates or they didn't realise when there was new videos and so on. So do subscribe because the algorithms um, for this kind of content aren't great. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really important to subscribe uh, to the channel. You know that if you would like a one-to-one -one or you have any questions, you can get in touch with me um, via my website. Um, I still haven't sorted out the, the mobile version of that, so let's look at that on a tablet or on, on your um, laptop. Um, but you can contact me there. You can email me with the addresses below or you can uh, message me via Facebook. That's fine too. All right. Oh, or Instagram. Uh, so, yeah. Lovely. All right. Um, good. I think that's everything. So, welcome to 2023. Take care. Bye.